Hello, Scorpio people. Welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. Today we are doing readings for August 2023. We are using the Wildwood Tarot and the Black Walnut Runes. Let's start with a card from the Wildwood Tarot. And we have the King of Stones, the Wolf. So this is the King of Pentacles. Um, the King of Pentacles generally looks a lot more abundant than this. Generally, there's more grapes. But <laughs> you are still the King of Stones, the Wolf. You are very much... Um, very much on top of things when they have to do with things that are practical, uh, very much in control and and able to direct that um, where it has to do with things. You're, you're very comfortable with the with the practical things. You're, you're able to keep on top of that. So that's what this month is really going to be focused on is just basically keeping on top of practical matters, things that have to do with keeping life happening um, and keeping everybody fed <laughs> nourished, protected, and in a, say, in a sense of abundance, even if it's the dead of winter. Where I am, it's not the dead of winter. I am in the Northern Hemisphere, so it is hot. But anyway, that's what I mean. So, King of Stones, King of Pentacles, that's what your month is going to be like. Um, let's see what the runes have to add. So your central issue this month is... Um, Scorpio is Kaunas reversed. Kaunas is the rune of the fire or the torch. Um, when it's upright, it has to do with something that starts small like an ember and goes into a blaze. However, when it's reversed, it has to do with focus, um, just basically a honing of focus. It can also have to do with a narrowing of options. So you may have a situation where um, you have to really hone your focus in order to continue um, making sure that people are surviving and people are taking care of the practical things that are conducive to being nourished, being sur sur surviving, and all of that. Um, leading up to this, we have answers reversed. So answers are the of communication and manifestation. Maybe leading up to this, there has been uh, maybe not as much communication as you would like to be having. Maybe communication has been a little bit difficult. Um, however, there may have been more inner communication having going on where you are very much in communication inwardly uh, with your inner voice, with your inner sensibilities, and possibly with NOR figures, your guardians and guides. Um, but I'm seeing this more as like an inward, an inner communication situation where you've been very, very active, whether or not you've been outwardly communicative, you have been very active inwardly in communication with what you know you need, perhaps with your instincts, given that this is a wolf, um, and taking care of things in the winter. So this has led you to this point where, okay, this month, you are really going to be honing your focus on what needs to be done to make sure that everybody around you has enough to eat and is protected and sheltered and has what they need uh, from a practical standpoint. What is going to help you is, just like with this, you're going to be listening to your own inner um, instincts and what you know you need. So you're going to be dancing to your own drummer this month or marching to your own drummer this month. Um, that's what's going to help you the most is to continue to let that communication be going on and to continue to be taking that advice, not the din of humanity, not what, you know, what people, it's like, oh, you oughtn't to do that. You ought to go and do this. It's like, don't, you know, you obviously thank them for their concern, but ultimately you're going to go with what you know works because this has helped you survive and the ones you love survive and you're going to be going with that. So what's going to help you the most is continue to march to your own drummer, continue to listen to your own instincts, to continue to have that inner dialogue um, going on that's going to keep you protected and keep those around you protected and fed. Um, what isn't going to help you is this is not the time to freeze. <laughs> we have um, Isa, which is the rune of ice. Uh, this has to do with standstill. In a higher spot, I would have said the you know stillness through which clarity comes, but really this is this is a worry. Um, you don't want things to come to a standstill. You, this is not the time to stop doing this. You need to keep doing it. Um, you also need to not freeze out those around you. You don't you, like try not to stagnate where you're not, you know, this is, when you're marching to your own drummer, you are still marching amidst humanity, okay? You are singing your note in the song. This is your solo time. So don't shut people out and don't um, just freeze. Like, you may, there may be a temptation to just go, you know, this is too much. I've been doing this for so long, and I just feel like just stopping. Um, and it may also be you're looking for a bridge, 
you know, something to help carry you over, but you are still the wolf in charge. Okay, <laughs> Scorpio, you're basically, you're still, you know, the, the, the pack leader, which is the, you know, the person protecting the family. And so whatever your family is, um, this could be real family or actually not real family. This could be biological family, or this could be your family of friends, or this could be your Whatever you consider family, this is what you're protecting. Even if it's you, if even, even if it's just the lone wolf, you know, even if you are alone in this, you have to continue to use your instincts during this time. Um, so just basically keep doing that. By the end of the month, you're going to be a lot more comfortable um, in the wildness of the world. This is It's just sort of the com a comfort based on habit. The more you do this, the better you're going to be at it, the more it's going to become second nature. And... Even if things still are feeling wild and out of control around you, you are a part of that nature. You are nature also. And so you, as you know, singing your note in the song um, and following your own instincts, can navigate this. And by the end of the month, you're going to be much more comfortable doing that. So that, Scorpio, is your reading for August 2023. I wish you all the best with this. And I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye.